And we're back again. Should probably find a new way to have an interesting intro other than that one time. So mission 40. Infiltrate the inner mansion and yeah, it's the same deal. I mean, what do you really expect at this point? If it involves a woman, there's two locations it's going to be. We need to kill them. Secret back room, even though it's not really secret because I know where it is. I've been there a bunch of times. Drill and Sands, Nagayori, the real Logawara. So that's basically it. We just have. To... She don't. She hasn't really done anything specifically wrong. But we have to kill her anyway. And I'm pretty sure this is the same cutscene as the last one I had to murder here. You know, variety of people. So I'm playing as Ninja. Although originally it was going to be just a generic ninja, I decided to add something to him. So it's basically one of the uh, black spider ninjas from Ninja Gaiden. And if I hadn't turned around, then I would have gone flying off the edge and died instantly. So let's see. Hmm. Come on. Look away, you stupid woman. I want to I want to stab you from behind. Okay, let's see. Come on. There we go. She, she somehow did not see me. Then she turns around and sends the duck. And she's there. And... Ooh! Got ya! Stab. So yeah, these are the uh, Vega claws I mentioned last time. You can't stab people with them, it's, so, which is a real shame because it would be awesome to have that as a weapon. That, that, that really would be like the... I think the best thing they could do with another Tenchu game. Like... Okay, obviously a, a good idea would be what they did with... I think the PSP one had a, like a ton of playable characters in it. Because, you know, typically we, only have, we typically only have two main characters. You have uh, Ricky Maru and then Ayame, I think. Which is, like, the most ninja-ish female name ever. So, you have those two. Uh, one of the ones, uh, I think it's called, like, Fatal Shadows or something on the PS2. Uh, in that one, Ricky Maru is presumed dead. So, there's a, a new uh, character with Ayame who is uh, called Reen. It's about those two. As they, like, adventure around and shit. But I think you can play as all three of those, plus a few other characters who've never been playable before. I think one was playable in, like, a, a brief prequel mission or something. And you have to play as all those. So that's a cool idea, but... Uh, yeah, and the other best thing they could do is just have it that... Yeah, well, you can, even, you can do it with any, really. Just say there's a bunch of different weapons you can choose to go with. Like, have different strengths. Like, you could have um, a chain sickle, which um, could have really good um, range. You can pull people in with it. Kind of like the uh, rope dart in Assassin's Creed. So it's like, throw at a guy, it gets him, and then you pull him in to hide him somewhere. And then add other things that you can maybe have the ability to swing on walls and shit. Secret documents, same shit as always. So, you know, you have stuff like that. And then you have different swords, daggers. You know, there's, there's a lot you could you could really do um, with this idea. Either just say that a custom character you can choose a weapon for them, or just have it that, <clears throat> for that, or with proper characters at the start of the mission, you just, choo you could just choose from a selection of weapons to take with you. Maybe some characters have uh, a higher affinity with one weapon than another, access to certain abilities only with certain weapons stuff like that in fact you can make a really uh, cool system with that and obviously you know custom characters are always a good thing to have in any game so that's definitely something they could uh, keep in yeah I, I feel like if they made a Tenchu game mm, uh, it wouldn't need to be on the on the new systems it could be on the uh, you could still do it at what do it on the 360. You know, you can still do it at one at 360 because this one really isn't a. It's a game that happens to be on the 360, but it's not a real 360 game. Because it still feels very PS2-ish in this. 
and its level of graphics and a lot of other aspects to it, it you know. So I feel like they could do it. Uh, I guess of course you'll get to like the um, proper seventh gen Tenchu game is just the one that was on the Wii and PSP. You know, I, I wouldn't object to a one that's a, a new one on the Xbox One and PS4. Because I mean, obviously there's a lot you could do more with that than with the 360 and PS3. But you know, I feel like PS3 and and 360 you should at least get one more, bef uh, you know, before moving on to the, to the next generation. Just give them a, uh, a, a taste of what a proper Tenchu game would be. I mean, this is a spin-off. I mean, I th I'm not sure. I think the games are published by Sega. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm not sure what developer makes them, if or if they're even around anymore. But this this was done by From Software. So I have two estimates. One for where it is one is that it's in this place. Got him. Well, he saw me. So see, you see that in there, where those girls were when they were abducted. Oh, it's. I don't start to pick up the ice in your dick. Oh, it's going to be somewhere over there. There's a civvy there, so. Let's fuck right off. Alright, oh, you, you can still do the third hit. So you, can do, you can still do the third hit. That third, a, a special move after the third hit, that's cool. Just in too close quarter for it to work. As you can see, since it's not working at all. And is this the item? Yes. We should complete and I'm gonna get a shit rank. Uh, you know. It's just how it goes, I guess. It would be nice to know what's in these documents and have like uh, you know, if, since you've got this over kind of overarching story, it'd be nice if there was a, a bit more continuity between them. But I think I've said this, but like Hitman, this is one of those series where you don't really need an overarching story. You can just have a game that has just a bunch of random missions or smaller plots going on. And they could have like like a plot for every ten missions or so. Not wrong with that. Kill everyone at the bridge this time. So, yeah, it's good to see this, this uh, map being brought back and having more use. And that's always good. I expect them to find all the bloody bombs. That's it's just annoying because you've got no way of knowing where the bombs are. Hmm, you know, what could actually be quite kind of cool is since the series is published by. Since. I don't know if the whole, whole series is published by Sega, or it's just a few of them, but... You know, Sega has some pretty good dealings with, um... Uh, Tecmo Koei, because of, uh... You no, know, because, like, they... I think... Yeah, the deal was that they would... Sega would publish... Te uh, Sega would publish DOA 5... Uh, in Europe. Because it's quite pricey doing that. So they would do that in return for a few Virtual Fighter characters showing up. But what if... They could make a deal here, and we could get review from Ninja Gaiden, maybe a couple other characters in a Tenchu game, fully playable. And of course, Ryu would get up, keep all of his moves, and you'd be able to properly play as Ryu in a stealth game instead of just the mock-up I did before. Uh, before that'd be cool. One, two, three. Huh. No. Hmm. I'm trying to figure this move out. No, that you can't look at stuff here. Fuck. Fuck you. 
Is he? Oh, he's, 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 he's trying to jump up it. See, now what would be the best is if I could just, just like look over the edge, hold up my sword, and let him, him let his skull just jump into my sword. Ooh. Shit. That was a. Kind of thing was a waste of time, wasn't it? Okay, so I think the third move is a th the third special is a thrust, and the second one is just a downward swing. Either way, they both have the exact same effect. Aha! Ah, oh, seriously, another one. Ah. All right, they're out there. Ah! Oh. Damn it! Aha! Uh -huh. Now I think enemies can actually throw bombs in these places. Cause I think one, I think one did that when I was playing the tutorial at one point. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to kill everyone anyway, aren't I? <laughs> How about that? Oh, you know, you know what would be really cool? If you get an enemy standing by one of these, and you had a stealth kill, but you just grabbed him by the ankles, yanked him into the into it, and just impaled him with your sword. That'd be cool. Hmm, now I think about it, when I played Tenchu 2, I don't think I ever played as I am. I think I just played as Rikimaru. Oh, fuck off. She saw me. Okay, let's try getting the fuck out. Go on. No, I don't want to pick an item up. Let me on to the fucking fence. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Is that woman there? Is that guy there? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so there's 11 people left to kill. Where the hell did she go? Shit. There is actually a special ability that is a. Um... Ah! Yeah, that's one of the other moves you can do when you hold X. Ooh! That's better, that. There's another one that's called Shockwave. I don't actually know what that does, because you need to have a certain level of health. Which surprises I've not actually upgraded my health at all, I don't think. But I, th I think I decided to just keep it into attack power and uh, agility. So I suppose I could rearrange my stats and try that out for one episode or something. Preferably not the last one, because that's when I'm going to have to have another boss fight. What the hell? Oh, oh, that, that, that makes sense, doesn't it? So hide in this, this in one of these bushes and no one can see me. Hide in, the, in this hedge and he, and he can. That makes me even more visible, what the fuck? Uh, this game sometimes. Nope, no one that's here. Oh. I hear something. Ah, ninja. Ninja. All right, so. I wonder. Like, you can actually get other abilities in place of the, uh, the badger move, the, the dash. I don't know why you would ever want something other than that. I mean, I guess maybe for a boss fight, but just but just keep it equipped because it makes stealth way easier. Basically, the ability is um, is one that I think one increases your defense and one increases offense, just temporarily. Kind of like a focus move. But it's like, why the hell would you use that when you can just have a dash? 
that likes to rush right up to an enemy from a distance and just instantly stealth kill them if you, if, as long as you're at least mildly on aim. As long as you're, as long as they are at least within like a meter of you, you can still hit them. Like there was one in one of the other episodes when I clearly miss, but I was still able to get a stealth kill. And even even if you're just out of range, you can do a thrust to to get that last bit of range and finish him off. Aha! Blindsided, and he's dead already. I mean, just see how. I mean, just see how powerful this three eight combo makes me. Like no one, like, no one can fuck with me. They're just, they're just too powerful. Oh. Boom! Hmm. Now, I'm pretty sure when you do the uh, stealth uh, missions, you do actually. I mean, when you do co you do actually go through the proper missions. I, I don't think they have like special ones made just for co-op. I might be remembering wrong. It has been years. It's been years since I played the game single player before this let's play. So since I played it co-op, it's even longer. I don't, I don't think there's any achievements for playing it in co-op. If there are, then that would explain why I tried it. I definitely explain why I tried it out in co-op. But it's, it's one of those where it's online only, no split screen or anything. So I didn't really have anyone to play the game with. But yeah, um, co-op stealth can work. Yeah, so it's in this direction. I don't think it's that woman, but I'll just incapacitate her just to be sh to be safe. Yeah, it's her. Okay, so I'll move away from her. It's probably down here, around the bank, the banks of the river. Yep, fake Raiden. Oh, dead. <gasps> And the one's probably on this side. There you go. Take it. No, yeah, you could, actually, could do something cool there. Like, you, could, you could have a guy in um, one mission who you have to kill, and he's fishing. And they could make, uh, make it so that the enemies you have to assassinate can actually move around the locations on a set path or freely, just going out for a walk. No, there's a lot more uh, variety and options you could have for one of these games. But I think that's it for this episode. I'll just check where the next one is. I might be able to squeeze one in. The administ administration offices. Um, no, nah, I'll, I'll leave it. So this ninja is going off. It looks like there's going to be just two more episodes. Possibly three. It really depends. You know, the, the finale might be a, a little longer to squeeze in a few additional missions. But yeah, this shitty little ninja is going to go off and do whatever. <laughs>